Hey guys, Gadget Girl Kylie here, and welcome back to my Let's Play walkthrough of Invisimals The Lost Kingdom. And on this episode, we're taking on a big boss. It's the big boss boss, actually. Bear in mind, this is my first time taking it on, so this is going to be interesting. Oh, uh, watch out for these. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Ow. Oh, what's it doing now? Whoa! Okay, so let's not get hit by the ray of death. <laughs> that would be a good idea. Can we go over to it? Grapple. Oh yeah, let's do some damage. Guessing it's gonna do the ray, yes. Off of his ear. Robots don't need to hear. Bye bye. Whoa. Cool. It was flashing so I went for it. And yes, it is the right spot to hit, it seems. Nice. Oh, that one got me. Come on, show me your weakness. Oh, yes. Ninja time. Oh, yes. 
Aim his home missiles at his face. See you later. Oh yes, push the button. They're not invisibles. They're robots. Oh, massive bonus to Z Sparks. Oh no. Yes, use the dragon. Call the dragon. Nice catch. Well, I could hardly let you go splat now, could I? Where did he come from? He was like instant. This is awesome. Look, dragon. Hmm. Ah, look, dragon, big, strong, and able to make craters in the ground by stomping, just like me, but on a good day. Uh, <laughs> have also been seen on the moon by both scientists and students. My first sighting was while walking in the upper Andes. I must confess, it was a remarkable experience with both the ground and myself being rather shaken. Sorry about that. This thing on my wrist keeps telling me stuff about each new invisible I meet. Does it always have to be so loud? I don't think Professor Dawson has a volume control. So, besides down, where do you want to go? After those guys that left just before I did. The flying steels. Nasty little creatures. Yes, this is possible. Hold tight. Yeah, so light rising on the back of dragons. Sweet. We've arrived. Those steels you are tracking have gathered here in this place with more of their kind. Thank you. I'll be able to continue hunting them from here. Your thanks are not needed. Through your actions, you have proven yourself an eternal friend of the dragons. If you need us, we will be there. Good hunting, my friend. Sweet. Seriously, boss, they're robots. Extractor industry robots from Earth. Hmm. It's all making sense now, Hiro. 
Extractor Industries are promising the world invisible energy. Oh, bat so bats. they're stealing invisible energy. But the invisibles, their world, it's all made of energy. They'll destroy it all. I realize this, Hiro. We need to know how Extractor are planning to get the energy back. Through a shadow gate, duh. But you can't transport energy through a shadow gate, Hiro. So how do they plan on doing it? You know, for a second there, I thought I'd outsmarted the boss. I'll find out what I can. Speak to you soon. Yeah, I shouldn't really be thinking you've outsmarted Kenny. Kenny's a genius. Let's not fall into the radioactive looking goo. The extractors have been dumping toxic waste into the swamp. Seriously, Hero, do not try and go swimming around here. Have me some of that. Tiger Shark. <laughs> I took down one of your big guys. I can take down you guys easily. Well, we need to go this way first because you can't come back normally from one of those things. Oh, that worried me a bit when I was sliding down. The extractors seem to have added a system of vents to channel the swamp gases. If you use Jong Mao's strength to push one of those special thermal blocks onto a vent, then you'll be able to use them to glide into the air. Oh, right, okay. Oh, hang on a second, guys. My controller's just run out of power. What a time to run out of battery. There we go. Switched it now. Sorry about that.
go over here. Ice lion. ice lion. I encountered Ice Lion while trying to carry out captures in the Arctic Circle a few years ago. They are awesome creatures with such incredible strength. It beggars belief. By nature and much like polar bears, they are lonesome creatures. Savage by nature, but truly a sight to behold. Should I be reincarnated and sent to the invisible world, this is the invisible world. I would most like to be. Cool. That's a cool little insight into uh, what Invisible Dawson likes. I like that. Come on. There we go. Well, I'll challenge him in a second. I just want to get these. Oh, I don't need to fight him. Is he like a secret one, is he? How do I switch back? Toggle. Oh, right, okay. Upgrade. Ice Fist. Focusing his ice powers into his fist, Ice Lion can deliver a mighty smash. Rip Raw Slam. Unleashing his full fury, Ice Lion can launch this devastating double-handed double attack. Raw Rush. With a mighty roar and with his arms stretched wide, Ice Lion can unleash a roaring rush towards his enemies. Shoulder Barrage, or Barge, Barge, <laughs> not Barrage. Using his mighty strength, Ice Lion can charge forward, shoulder first, to bash his enemies. Icicle Line. By calling on his freezing powers, Ice Lion can smash the floor and create a line of razor-sharp icicles. And last but not least, Icy Breath. Summoning all his freezing power, Ice Lion can unleash a devastating cone of ice, Icy Breath, which can freeze his enemies solid. Ice Lion! Sweet. Oh no! Oh! <laughs> oh no! I fell through. Let's do that again. Sweet. 
The extractors seem to have added a system of vents to channel the swamp gases. If you use Zhong Mao's strength to push one of those special thermal blocks onto a vent, then you'll be able to use them to glide into the air. Over here we go. Okay guys, I'm going to stop this episode here, so don't forget to like and subscribe, and I shall see you next time.